Hey, Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. I have a bit of a change of scenery here. I'm actually at a track, but I'm not even in Colorado because it is a Slacker crossover event. Minus, minus one, there she's coming. I feel like I actually did some work. Yeah. And then eat and then lie down. Right. That's usually my plan. As opposed to, you know, eating real fast and then running, running fast. Again. Oh, look. Or you can do like them and just not even think. Not even try. Oh. You're working too hard. He's not going to be able to run tonight. No, he's not. That was all the energy he had. That's it. Hey, uh, I want to be hopeful with this qualified because she blamed a burrito for having bad things in them gave a bad test results but you know I'm here to, to prove that burritos do not help you run well um, and to help prove this flown in an expert on all things running and uh, if you subscribe to this channel you know who that is how are you feeling about this as fuel for you right now? Actually, I think it's necessary right now. Because <laughs> um, I'm a bit hungry. And I think the more the better for later, especially since it's a 9 o'clock p.m. race. What's your A goal right now, HJ, for your burrito pace? My burrito pace? Actually getting in a full mile. That's my A goal. Shape. I think you've, you've come across something. MK just said, I don't think we can do that. You have just encountered slackers with limits. Slackers, well, no. You still have unlimited potential. You just know your boundaries. Please help us with that now. Mm hmm okay. All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Normally by now, no matter where I am in the time zones, my, my, my run is long over by now. The um, mid-morning run, definitely, definitely a challenge. Are we ready? You're, you're one lap in and you ate the burrito while you're I did. traveling. How was that? I did. It was actually um, uh, an interesting concept because um, not only am I eating a burrito on a track, in the heat and humidity of the storybook capital of the galaxy, none of which I have got, done. Got upgraded. Upgrade. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, none of which I've actually done before, all at once. Mm -hmm. But you ne nothing new on race day though, so. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's cutting the course. What's going on? I also would like to mention behind the scenes that your sibling, my spouse, said that he was going to run from one end zone and back. Here's that plan has changed. <laughs> well, especially since like even J Crow is like doubled over in pain. King of all slackers. How is that uh, burrito treating you? Treating me well. Yeah. I need some salsa to go with it. Okay. My wrapper went away, so I guess I'm eating the rest of it now. Okay. I had a theory. Eat the burrito fast, get the run done fast, before it sets in. <laughs> true. Mile and a quarter. I can say that I got it done. And yeah, the altitude advantage is somewhat mitigated by the heat and humidity advantage. Disadvantage. What you need to do there? What you need to do? The mosquitoes are rampant. Are they? Yes, and what? they like to feed them at the <laughs> Hey, Run Junkies, welcome to part two of the Slacker Nation crossover. 
we've got the three fifths of the slackers here. We are expecting one more at least. And this is the summer solstice run. It is 8.42 in the p.m. and <laughs> we have a five mile run. Your options were five miles, three hours or six hours. And I think it comes as no surprise that I will be running five miles. Currently 85 degrees, but the sun has just set and there is a slight breeze. So I'm hoping that this will be a relatively painless run. It'll be warm, but at least the sun won't be beating down on us. We're gonna get ready for a run and it's gonna be a lot of fun tonight. I didn't overexert either. I told myself to take breaks so I don't have a heart attack. 